I want to show you a really quick way to um, make a whole page of labels with the same name and address in Microsoft Word. You start off with a blank document and I'm going to type in my name and my address. This is not my real address but I'm just typing in a name and an address. Okay. Now you're going to highlight that. Then up here you pick on the mailings tab. Under mailings notice how it says labels. So you click on labels. Uh, notice what we can do. We can either do a full page of the same label or you can just make a single label. If you make a single label, imagine a sheet of labels, then you can determine which row and which column the label will print on. But we're just going to do a full page of the same label. Now what you want to do is over here, you want to pick your label size. You do that by going into options. Now, what I like about this feature is that the Avery labels that you can purchase at Office Max or Staples are built right in, or any good Office Supply store. So, um, here's the ones that I'm familiar with. You click on this pull-down where it says Label Vendors, and you can see there's lots of other label vendors, but the ones that I use, the ones that a lot of people are familiar with, are the Avery US Letter. But I'm sure those other ones would also work. Now, this is going to show you all of the Avery products by their product number. So, a really, really popular one is called 5160. This is a standard address label. All right, but most of these sizes are things that you can get at any good office supply store. So, we'll pick on 5160. You can see uh, uh, easy PO mailing labels. That's good. We're going to click on OK. So, picking that, that size is very important, other where it says Options. Now, you're just going to pick where it says New Document and just like that, you have a whole sheet of labels in your Word document. So that was really pretty easy to do. Uh, I would start off with one name. You highlight that name. We went into mailings and then labels. All right? You pick your, your label size under options. Then we were able to pick on new document. And just like that, we have a whole sheet of labels. Now, if you were to print this, yeah, you know, print it on plain paper first. Make sure that it looks like it's going to line up. And, and, and then print that on your labels because the labels are a little bit more expensive, of course, than the paper. So if I were to print that, I would print that on a plain piece of paper first. Then I would hold that behind the, um, the actual labels and make sure it's going to line up. Then I would use my labels. All right, I hope that helps you make some labels in Microsoft Word.